What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Two Minute Sip with yours truly, Jay Wesley. And I'm sipping with my homie, Bame. And we are here at Everything Atlanta. So tell everybody what Everything Atlanta is all about. Uh, so what we like to say, uh, and I've learned this by doing marketing, is that uh, Atlanta influences everything uh, culture-wise. And so a lot of times... People, like we, our brand, we, everyone's trying to figure out Atlanta's brand and what's our sauce. So we just say, while we're trying to figure out what the sauce is, what the brand is, is it Hot Atlanta, is it ATL, is it Real Housewives, we just stick with saying Atlanta influences everything and you can kind of find what part of the, of the influence that we have influences you. It might be how you dance, your swag, some of the slang you use, but it's 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 basically the vibe of Atlanta. It's our our cultural influence is uh, that's our sauce as a city. So another city might have uh, might be known for uh, what uh, New Orleans known for like gumbo and beignets and voodoo. We known for cultural swag, so that's 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 what it's about. Absolutely, and so Bame is deep. If you don't know Bame, you're not plugged here in Atlanta, because I don't know anybody that don't know this man, and he's full of knowledge. So we get more to come as we take you through this art event tonight. And who's tonight's artist? Uh, it's a local soul singer named Ruby Vale. Uh, she's got a crazy story. She is. Um, she has a very like uh, soulful, uh, like a, if you know about like uh, Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, uh, rest in peace to her actually, Charles Brooke Radley, rest in peace to him as well, but these like old soulful artists, but she is a millennial Indian girl with a soulful Aretha Franklin voice. And so she's going to tell her story. Uh, she brought a guitar player, so I'm hoping that means she's going to perform. But she's very small and petite and young, but it has a very 1960s type of soulful voice. So she's going to tell her story and hopefully where that came from. All right. And BAME is like the godfather here in Atlanta over art and culture. So we are in the Castleberry, Castleberry Hill area of Atlanta. And so cheers to a good event that you've curated tonight. Cheers to the city's first nightlife are. I'm calling it. We need, we need this man. We need this man. All right. And so thanks for that plug. But stay with us as we go and meet the artist. Thanks for staying tuned for another segment of the Two Minute Sip with yours truly, Jay Wesley. We are in the Castleberry Hill area of Atlanta, Georgia at an art exhibit. So can you explain to us who you are, what you do, and what's going on here tonight? Sure. So my name is Ruby Vell. Um, I'm in a band called Ruby Vell and the Soul Phonics. And we've been over a decade long uh, creating our original blend of soul music here in Atlanta and specifically right outside of Castleberry Hill. Absolutely. Are you originally from here? I, I am not. I'm actually from, uh, I was born in Toronto, Canada, and I grew up in Florida of all places. And I came to Atlanta to seek um, education in creative arts, design, art direction, and expand my music a little bit more as well. So for people that are not familiar with Atlanta Influence Everything, Tell them your perspective of what the organization is about. So from what I can gather, Atlanta Influences Everything is taking not just a surface level look at the artistry here, but really digging deep. Like really giving um, the artists a platform to express themselves, not only through their art, but also through their voice and giving them a chance to be elevated and to talk about their experiences. Um, so I think what it does is it creates this really symbiotic fabric of what is happening here. And it's regardless of skin color, it's regardless of gender, it's really just focused on the art, the music, the people that are telling these stories. Uh, so that's one thing that I love about Atlanta Influences Everything. And I've been friends with Bame Joyner for a long time, uh, really family friends through my husband, Alex Morgan. They've been on the scene and growing Atlanta from a cultural perspective since day one. So I'm I, showing up very late to the right. game. Yeah, me too. Happy to be included. <laughs> and I told you all, Bame 
knows everybody. As, everybody. Exactly. Everything, if you don't know Bane, then you're not plugged. Absolutely. So, and so as we close out, you got to tell us what your favorite drink is. Oh, my favorite drink is by far the Dark and Stormy. Okay. It is a uh, dark spice rum, ginger beer, and fresh lime. No Ooh. lime juice. Look, she even know how to make it. Yes, I love no it. lime juice for this gal. All right. Excellent. So be sure to stay tuned. We still have more to come while we are here at Atlanta Influences Everything. So be sure to stay tuned. Go grab you a sip so you can sip with me. Thank you. No, we are at Atlanta Influences Everything. And so I have Tamika here. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm excellent. So where are you from, Tamika? Um, I claim Atlanta, Georgia, but I'm a military brat. All so. right. So a little bit of everything. So tell us what we what do we have going on here? Okay. So this is inspired by Ruby Bell, and she's the uh, the person who is inspiring the storyboard for today. So she'll be the person who's interviewed and. I wanted to do a picture first just to get it started, but I'm probably going to do another one once we once we get into the conversation. So, yeah. All right, excellent, it's great work. And I want to. What's your favorite drink? Oh, wine. Wine. Red okay, wine. red yeah. wine. Mm-hmm. All right. So we want to thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Two Minute Sip at Atlanta Influences Everything, right here in the Castleberry Hill area of Atlanta, Georgia. And as you see, I'm sipping on sweet water which is located right here in the heart of Atlanta. So if you haven't tried Sweetwater, go give it a sip and let us know what you think about it. Until next time, sip up.